Before we get into episode two of trading from nothing to a titanium white octane, I want to remind you I am giving away a titanium white octane once we reach 30,000 subscribers here on the channel. And all you have to do to get entered is just drop me a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed. So good luck. All right, episode two is here. It's finally time. Keep in mind, these trades are very old. I have been filming this over a very, very long time. I still saw some comments on the last, uh, on episode one that they were like, wow, this is so old. And uh, yeah, I, I, I let you guys know. I let you guys know beforehand. These are very old. Um, I don't know if this is going to catch up to current or if it's going to be uh, still very much in the past. But uh, basically, we're we're moving forward and we're getting a lot of trades done. Um, the only thing that is holding me back is the 10 trade limit per day on my Epic account because um, it's not very, very high level. You have to be like level 100 to get unlimited trades and I think I'm level 30. So I hope you guys enjoy these trades and we'll just go ahead and hop into the first one right now. All right, guys, hopping into our very first trade right here. We are still trying to get rid of everything that we opened up just from the drops. So we still have a couple uncommons and a couple rares in this trade in particular. We are getting rid of the Fennec Edge Burst, which I am glad I held on to it because I did get 20 credits for it instead of the five credits that I got for the other rares. So that ended up actually being a pretty good deal for me. This next trade, I actually found a pretty good deal um, and it was time to start using those credits that I had built up from opening those drops and selling all those items. And I actually bought a Saffron Striker Fireworks. Now, I would normally kind of shy away from certified items because they're super hard to sell. And um, it's just not the best all around sometimes. But uh, this was for minimum price. Uh, so minimum price and it's striker certified i was like i feel like i can get uh at least like 50 credits profit it is what i was hoping for so i actually ended up holding on to this for about like three or four weeks um because i just kind of let the account sit and do do whatever um i bumped the trade you know every couple weeks or so and i actually ended up getting 600 credits for it which is kind of insane um 200 credits profit in our first couple of trades is kind of nuts um if you really think about it i mean that was 200 credits on one item um and we're already up like so much profit just off that one thing um so this is where i kind of messed up is on this next trade so i uh, i let my account sit too long i i ended up getting these saffron emeralds right here i was trying to get the saffron emeralds and the crimson standard together um for everything i had in my inventory but he did not go for it so i got the saffron emeralds for 400 credits and basically this was a time when rlcs was not streaming at all so there were no drops coming into rocket league and then they started back up uh the drops were back emeralds stayed in the drops which we did not really expect and they plummeted in price and this was like super unfortunate and just kind of discouraging to me because like i already was like not really totally sold on the idea of doing another nothing to something and then this happened um and basically my 400 credit investment right here which i did get these for under minimum price so it, it was a good deal at the time but um they they it essentially vanished and turned into a, a hundred credits essentially um or, or pretty close to it so before we actually set the account aside, I bought some Cristianos uh, for 100 credits, which was a really good deal at the time. They were, uh, I believe 150 credits was the minimum price. So I got them for 50 under the minimum price. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that all day long. I just put up a post saying I had credits and wanted items for cheap. This guy hit me up. So I was like, cool. This guy actually hit me up quite a few times in my last nothing to something um, and he seems to always have like just super cheap random items that he wants to sell. So right here, we are actually selling our slimline finally, which I'm super glad I held on to that as well, because we did end up getting 20 credits for it, uh, which is super sick because, you know, we got to get as many credits as we possibly can because, uh, you know, we're trying to make profit. So moving on from there, we are selling the Cristianos. Uh, I'm, I had a post up. And I was like, you know what? I'll take uh, whatever the minimum price is. And the minimum price was 150. Um, this is actually my friend Blanquito. He hit me up and he was like, yo, you still got your Christianos? I was like, yeah. 
He was like, okay, I'll give you minimum price for him. Like, I was like, okay, sweet. Like, I'll trade with you. Like, I, I don't feel like that is anything that should be sketched out. But, I mean, I do know him. So, like, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, minimum price for those. We made 50 credits profit, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then moving on from there, this is where we actually took that fat L uh, on the Saffron Emeralds. So, this is pretty much, for the most part, up to date. Um, these trades still are a few weeks old, but not like super, super old. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, I, I traded these and the rest of my uncommons for 160 credits. I just threw them in there and I was like, Hey, would you give me 10 more credits for these? And he was like, yep. So we got 160 credits for basically our entire inventory. And we are starting fresh with only credits, which sometimes can, uh, not be the greatest because, only having credits on your account is kind of hard. It's a lot easier when you have a bunch of items and you can trade like item for item, item for credits, whatever. Um, it attracts a lot more people. And, and sometimes you get more trades once someone is just in your party than you would have expected. So right here, we are buying a Anodized Pearl for 90 credits, which is a pretty good deal in my opinion. It was, I believe the minimum on it was 150, but everyone was selling them like pretty much for like 110, 120 ish. So I was like, you know what? This one popped up. It was the cheapest one on the market. I was like, if I only make 10 credits on it, um, it probably wasn't really worth my time, but I'll buy it anyways, just cause I wanted to get something into my account so that I could post that I have something to offer to other people if they wanted to trade with me uh, and, you know, give me like an overpay with items or something. It, it does help a lot. So right here, I'm making a super cheap purchase of one SLK wheel and one Big Splash for 30 credits. Um, Big Splash, I, I, I think I'm going to make like 10 credits on this deal, but once again, I just wanted the items. I think I was originally only buying the Big Splash and then I just asked him to throw in whatever crappy item he could and he threw in the SLKs, which they're not even non-crate, so they're not worth a whole lot, but we did get them with the Big Splash and we should be able to sell the big splash for at least like 40, 50 credits. Um, I would assume. And then the SLKs, I'll probably just hold on to them for a while. I don't really see anyone wanting, um, a crated SLK wheel. Um, I don't really know why anyone would want that unless they're like collecting it for some reason. Um, so yeah. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for the trades for this episode. Kind of an unfortunate scenario with those saffron emeralds, but it is what it is. We move forward. Uh, I can tell you that I definitely have made back those like 400 credits that I lost so far. Um, and we are moving on from there. So before we end the video real quick, I got to remind you, I am giving away a titanium white octane once the channel reaches 30,000 subscribers. And all you have to do to get entered is just drop me a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed. That's it. That's it. You can get a free titanium white octane while you watch me teach you how to trade to get a free titanium white octane. Titanium White Octane Inception. Titanium Oxception. Titanium White Oxception. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to end the video from there. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and we will catch you next time. Peace.